Indonesia's economic interests are jeopardized by China's territorial claim covering most of the South China Sea, its foreign minister said, explaining a letter Jakarta sent recently to the United Nations. Indonesia's letter says that China's nine-dash line demarcation for the sea lacks a basis in international law, citing the 2016 decision by a Hague tribunal. The text also rejects Beijing's historical claims on the area. Unlike with the Philippines, Vietnam or Malaysia, Indonesian territorial claims in the South China Sea do not directly conflict with China's. But the exclusive economic zone around Indonesia's Natuna archipelago overlaps with the Nine-Dash Line. Chinese fishing boats have repeatedly operated in the area. Indonesian public sentiment toward China reportedly has worsened. Last month, it was revealed that the remains of several Indonesian nationals were cast off Chinese fishing ships into the ocean. The deceased apparently died from overwork. In a major development, India and Australia inked a landmark deal on allowing access to military bases for logistics support. The Ministry of External Affairs said that this deal was part of the total seven agreements that had been signed between India and Australia following the first ever virtual summit between the leaders of the two countries. Under the Mutual Logistics Support Agreement, the two countries' militaries can use each other's bases to carry out repair and replenishment of supplies besides allowing for scaling up of overall defense ties. India already has similar agreements with the US, France and Singapore. During the talks, the two sides discussed several issues including tackling the growing threat of terrorism, maritime security challenges in the Indo-Pacific region reform in the World Trade Organization and ways to deal with the coronavirus crisis. The two countries have reached an understanding on enhancing cooperation between their navies and strengthen maritime domain awareness in the Indo-Pacific region. India and Australia are committed to supporting a rules-based maritime order that is based on respect for sovereignty and international law, particularly the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. Unclose, the joint statement read. The sister of Kim Jong-un has warned South Korea to stop defectors from sending leaflets into the demilitarized zone separating the countries, saying it may cancel a recent bilateral military agreement if the activity persists. Kim Yo-jong, who serves unofficially as Kim Jong-un's chief of staff, warned of the possible scrapping of the inter-Korean military agreement that promised to eliminate practical threats of war as a result of the clandestine leafletting. She was referring to thousands of anti-DPRK leaflets recently dumped along the north side of the heavily fortified DMZ titled, Defectors from the North. The military pact reached in 2018 was hardly of any value, she said. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you like the channel and want to support, please support on Patreon or PayPal. The details are given below in the description.